Good afternoon and welcome to Abundant Living No Regrets. So this afternoon I am in Tuscany on, I was going to say the French Riviera, the Italian Riviera. And I'm here this week writing my wonderful book, Spiritual Woman's Guide to Living a Life of Her Dreams. I really couldn't say that. And through a series of amazing synchronicities, um, I have met the wonderful Sham Aladina. So I wanted to quickly, Sham's on his way to the airport, but I thought it'd be fantastic. Sham is a mindfulness teacher, and he's also the author of Mindfulness for Dummies. So I thought it'd be amazing to quickly interview Sham. Thank you for taking the time to do this. Well, we're, we're, we've, only got four <laughs> minutes, we've only got four minutes before my flight takes off. Absolutely, we're cutting it fine. <laughs> Um, but it's too good an opportunity to miss, and it's just amazing how you met David. Do you want to just share with us? Yeah, so uh, very quickly, I basically I was taking a bus from Golders Green in London to take to go to Stansted to come to Pisa to do some volunteering for the Dalai Lama, and for some reason I, there was a massive amount of traffic, even though it was very close. So I came to this bus stop area and I missed the coach, and I was like, "What's going on?" You know, I, I just kind of asking about the times and stuff, and David kind of kicked off the conversation, and we just started chatting and laughing, and I'm like. Are you going to Stansted? He's like, yeah, I'm going to Stansted. Where are you going to? Pisa. I'm going to Pisa, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, basically, I also forgot my driving license. So when I arrived in Pisa, he kindly used his credit card to, to get, get a car for me, and very, very generous. So I was really touched by his kindness, and it's been fantastic. We're both into the same sort of stuff as well. Absolutely. And then he introduced me to, yeah. to the lovely Kitty, and oh, yeah, it's awesome. And we've had a wonderful couple of days together. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately it's time for you to go home. But I would love for you to explain to the guys kind of what you do in the world and how you're having a positive impact. Yeah, so I'm really interested in mindfulness. That's what I'm really passionate about. And mindfulness essentially means present moment living. Learning to live in the present moment, but in a way which is uh, warm, friendly and kind to yourself and to others, where you're curious, where you're interested. And so that's why I've written all these books about mindfulness, because I want to try and spread it as much as possible, because it's been so fantastic for my own life. I want to be able to share it for other others. It's just, a, it's just a really, really lovely way of living. And you travel around the world, speaking to people, mm. doing workshops. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. You've got your own website, is that right? Yeah, yeah. It's my yeah, shamashaladina.com. It's my website, and people go there to learn mindfulness, whether it's an online program. But I'm, what, what people are really interested in now, because it's really popular, mindfulness, is to learn to teach it. So I do teacher trainings using webinars. So that's why I need to go back to London because I've got nice <laughs> high-speed internet there. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is the bad thing about the Italian Riviera makes you slow down. Yeah. You have no choice. Yeah, yeah. And how did you get into mindfulness? So it was when I was at university. I was studying engineering, and you know the whole paradigm for most people is that you know you study a lot, you make a lot of money, and that money will give you the happiness, or, or this job will give you the happiness, or this relationship will give you the happiness, and it wasn't happening. So I was at a loss. And I saw uh, a poster in the underground about practical philosophy and a quote from Socrates, the unexamined life is not worth living. I'm like, wow, I need to check that out. And it was only £20 for a 10-week course, so that was another big factor. So I went along and it was a fantastic course and it had a little mindfulness exercise. And that was the turning point for me because I learned I could, you're not your thoughts. The, the thoughts are there, but you don't, they don't have to totally control you. There's a space. And I learned about that space, the observer, the witness. The ability to step back from your thoughts, and I'm very, very grateful for being able to learn that. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, ever since then, I've been teaching it basically. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it's amazing, isn't it? Because actually, like you said, when we separate ourselves from our thoughts, it is so empowering. Because quite often we're on this treadmill, and we're kind of not even aware of what we're doing. But actually, like you said, they're just thoughts. You yeah. Know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they only have a power if we believe in them. We can have all sorts of thoughts. Even negative thoughts, like I'm an idiot, or you can have a thought that I'm a flying pink elephant. Okay, <laughs> they're, they're thoughts, but if you believe them, then it's a problem. It's not the thoughts themselves, just, just having a sort of thought, it, it doesn't have a power in itself, it's whether we believe it, and, and the choice to whether to believe it or not depends on if people are observing it. If you don't know you're having it, yeah. you could be having these negative thoughts, these fears, if you're not aware of it, then you're stuck with it. Yeah. But the mindfulness gives you the space to observe it, the self-compassion, the kindness, so, you know, okay, I don't have to believe that, necessarily, that may not be true, yes, it's a fear, or this is an anxiety I'm having, but don't have to go down that road. Absolutely. Yeah, so. the more we become conscious of it, the more it doesn't control us anymore. And you showed a lovely example of that on the motorbike. <laughs> okay, let's share that with people. Share so, this lovely example. Yeah, so for me, um, I came off a motorbike when I was in my 20s when I was traveling and I still have a lot of negative association around that and uh, these wonderful men are helping me get through that. So uh, yeah, but it's interesting watching because it's fear that comes up 
but then do we have to actually go into that fear or can we reframe it and look at it as exciting yeah, so this is my exactly. new thing yeah courtesy of sham i'm going to look at it as exciting and rather than it. absolutely petrifying yeah, you managed to go down this really steep hill didn't you yeah. Today? yeah thank you very much well done so watch the space because sham and i are going to be doing some more work together so sham is uh working with entrepreneurs taking mindfulness to entrepreneurs increasing productivity because like basically helping entrepreneurs become more effective so it's definitely uh, Definitely right up my street. So uh, yeah, watch this space. We're going to be doing some more work together. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ciao, baby. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Ciao, Bella.